Hey guys, what's up? This is Victorian. Welcome to the Beastmaster Hunter guide. The Beastmaster Hunter is a very simple class. Um, and DPS wise, the Marksman Hunter is pulling ahead right now. But still, on uh, the Dragon boss fight in Emerald Nightmare and uh, Yursok, you can do still pretty good DPS. Um, no problem there. I've actually cleared 5 out of 7 uh, with my Beastmaster Hunter in the Emerald Nightmare. And on Ursok and on the Dragon Boss, the first boss, I always forget the name. I was being able to be top DPS with it. Uh, I'm pretty happy right now. I know that Marksman is better. I'm checked World of uh, Warcraft Locks. Um, Marksman is clearly pulling ahead. But keep in mind, class balance still has to happen. It's going to happen the 28th of September. Um, Blizzard has announced that, then, uh, that they will be balancing uh, in that raid lockout. So it should be good. I'm not worried yet. I think it's all going to work out. The Beastmaster Hunter. It's kind of a simple um, a simple class, but what you have is unlimited uh, mobility. Yeah? You can move and deal with any situation. Um, you're the most mobile class in the game. So that's the thing that attracts me. You can deal with any situation. So let's dive into it. Your basic rotation is use Dire Beast on cooldown, use Kill Command on cooldown, and uh, use Cobra Shot as a filler. You should always have 30 focus, yeah, for your Kill Command, always. Whenever Dire Beast um, is off cooldown or it's procking, you should use it because every time you use Dire Beast, you're gonna lose, um, you're gonna reduce the cooldown of Best for Wrath by 30 seconds, yeah. Our cooldowns are a Murder of Crows. Best for Wrath and Aspect of the Wild. So basically, without cooldowns, this is kind of how your uh, rotation is going to look. You're going to use Dire Beast on cooldown, Kill Command on cooldown, whenever, and use Cobra Shot as a filler. But always keep in mind that you need 30 focus for your Kill Command. You should always have focus for Kill Command. So this is what your rotation is, uh, looks like. I'm always making sure I have 30 focus before I do something else. Um... I'm always checking when is my um, kill command coming off cooldown. I need to have focus for that. Now I have some time left. So I can actually spend some Cobra shots. Kill command is coming off cooldown. I'm making sure I have 30 focus ready for that. That's your basic rotation without cooldowns. So we're getting into the... Um, we'll take a better look later on in the video. Let's talk talents for a moment. We have level 15. Big game hunter. It's currently not desirable at all. Just forget about it. We have way in the Cobra and Dire Stable. Um, Wave the Cobra. Cobra Shot deals 8% increased damage for every pet or guardian you have active. Well, we have our own pet, and we have Hattie. Hattie is the pet you get uh, from your artifact weapon. So those are two pets. With Dire Beast, we summon in a third. So basically, Wave the Cobra does 24% 24, 24 increased damage for um, if we use that talent. Sounds very good, but here's the thing. Dire Stable. Dire Beast generates 12 additional focus over its duration. So instead of only giving us 12 uh, focus over 8 seconds, now we get 24 focus over 8 seconds. That's a lot more focus to spend on things like Kill Command. And it's extremely important that we have a lot of focus regen during Bestial Wrath. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Level 30, right now Stomp pulls ahead. Um, when your Dire Beats charge in, they will stomp the ground, dealing 144k damage. I wish Chimera Shot was viable. Uh, I leveled with uh, Chimera Shot. Um, because at that moment, it was kind of the way to go. I think it, it would be fun to have Chimera Shot in there. It actually gives us an extra button to press, because we have a standard 3 button rotation, which is kind of boring. I would like to see Chimera Shot being buffed so it's viable instead of Stomp, because Stomp is just a passive. So I would like that to change, but right now Stomp is the way to go. Dire Frenzy is um, just not desirable, and Chimera Shot also is. Even on Cleave targets, on two targets, it's still kind of bad. Level 45, Post, hate, uh, post Haste is a thing. Um, I really recommend this, because Disengage also frees you from movement impairing effects, so if you get wet by ads or controlled by ads, you can disengage out of there. And um, because it also gives you a run speed increase by 60% for 8 seconds, even though if you disengage, you can run back so fast into position. And because we're a very mobile class, 
our DPS doesn't have to suffer. But still, to get very, to get like wrapped by an ad or whatever, disengage out of there and run back into the right position is so such a good thing to ha uh, to have during raids. Level sixty. Bestial Fury is the go-to talent. Increases the damage done of your Bestial Wrath by 15%. Very strong. Like I said before, Beastmaster Hunter is all about damaging uh, damage f through your pets. So the more we can do with pet damage, the better it is. Blink Strikes can be very good if we have um, if your ads, yeah, ads if your pets have to switch to a lot of ads. Then Blink Strikes can be very handy. If they have to run a uh, run around a lot. Blink strikes can be very very good, but in general use, best of your pull and pulls ahead. Level seventy five, pick whatever you need. Level ninety, a murder of crows is the way to go for um, single target. Sons of flock of crows to attack your target, dealing one million physical damage over fifteen seconds on a one minute cooldown. I'll take that any time. So that's single target. AoE. AoE has a special thing going on for the Beastmaster Hunter. We have Barrett and we have Volley. I want to talk a little bit about this. Here's the thing. Let me show you guys. If we pick, if we look at pure AoE damage, Volley pulls ahead. But only if it meets certain criteria. Let me show you guys this. Volley right now is a aura. It's a passive, believe it or not. While active, your uh, auto attack spend three focus to also launch a volley of shots that hit the targets and all other nearby enemies, dealing 22k additional physical damage. That's it. It's enabled. No radical. No nothing to do. It's just auto attacks. Now let me show you. So if I'm DPSing, that's it. It drops automatically out of the sky. But as you can see, the range is kind of small. It's not that big. Yeah. Here's the thing, if you have stacked targets and all the targets are getting hit by these arrows, then volley is the way to go. Volley drains about its um, three focus for each volley. That's about one focus a second. Um, as you can see, 119, 118. Yeah? So if all your ads or whatever your A-wing is standing in this circle of arrows, volley pulls ahead. And let me call back my pets. And let me get out of combat. There we go. Yo, get back here. Stop being an idiot. However, if your targets are spread out more than the volley range, Barris will pull ahead. Yeah. So volley works if all if you can get all that uh, all your targets in that circle of volley. If they're spread out more than that, then uh, Barris is better AOE than volley. So look, take a clear decision. How spread out? Are my targets? Are they spread out more than the what is it, eight to ten yards? I want to pick up Barrett because if they're if this is my main target, if they're standing out further away than this, I might need to switch to Barrett. That's about it. Single target though, Murder of Crows, level one hundred. We have Killer Cobra. Is kind of right now is the way to go for single target. Well, Best of Wrath is uh, active Cobra shot, and this is very important. Resets the cooldown of your kill command. Yeah? So, Cobra Shot resets. When Best of Wrath is active, Cobra Shot, which just costs 40 focus, resets the, co uh, the cooldown of kill command. And kill command is like a main damage dealer. Here's the thing. And this is how Beastmaster Hunter, how the talents are working right now. We have Way of the Cobra and we have Dire Stable. We already talked about that. Now, when I was playing with uh, Way of the Cobra, I got way more focus drain. I had to manage my focus better. I got less focus. I had less uh, focus left for Cobra Shot because Kill Command, you should use that every time it's off cooldown. Always. Yeah, this is this is what the entire spec is about. So less Kill Commands is a bad thing. But Cobra Shot by itself picks that up with the damage increase. Here's the thing though. Bestial Wrath, during Bestial Wrath, uh, every time you use Cobra Shot, you get a kill command. So when you pop Bestial Wrath, uh, Best Wrath, it's going to be Cobra Shot, kill command. Cobra Shot, kill command. That's what the entire time you're going to do. But without Dire Stable, you're not regening 
uh, focus fast enough to get a lot of kill commands going on. Usually when Bester Wrath is uh, coming off cooldown and every time I'm using Dire Beast, yeah, the cooldown of Bester Wrath is reduced by 30 seconds. That means like after 3 Dire Beasts and Dire Beast can proc, I'm getting a Bester Wrath back. So Bester Wrath is something I'm using a lot, a hell of a lot. During Best of Wrath, I want to get as much Cobra Shells and Kill Commands out as I possibly can, but I need focus for that. So that's, that is the reason why Dire Stable pulls ahead, because we get 12 additional focus over its duration, 24 in total. So I tested Way of the Cobra and Dire Stable out, but with uh, Dire Stable, I could have more Kill Commands during Best of Wrath than with Way of the Cobra. And that's why it's pulling ahead. You get more focus, and we have more focus regen, and we want to get as much kill commands out during best of wrath as possible. That's how this pack's work, and this pack is working. Now, here's the thing: if you want to go up for a we dire stable is still preferable because um, Barris is uh, 60 focus on a 20 seconds cooldown. Volley is draining uh, one focus every second, basically it's three focus every attack has one uh, basically one focus every second and you want to put in multi shots over there so still dire stable pulls ahead but um killer cobra is not going to be working very well with um or we're gonna not working very well as big wood but you get less kill commands because volley is draining uh, your focus or you need to spend focus on barrage meaning you have less focus for kill commands during bestial wrath if you're going for an aoe spec so choose between uh, Barrett's or Volley, I would highly recommend you pick Stampede. Since we're not getting um, that much kill commands out of Best for Wrath because we're keeping up our, our AOE, Stampede pulls ahead. Yeah. Um, also Stampede does uh, more damage if you have like a couple of stacked targets. Because those pets are running in. Some of the herd of stampeding animals from the wild around you that deal damage to your enemies. So if you have a bunch of stacked up uh, targets, they're going to hit um, multiple targets. And that's better than have a pure kill command on one target. So for AoE, you can see how this is working. AoE, I'm spending my focus on barrage or volley. I'm going with stampede, single target. I'm going to use my focus for pure kill commands. That's how this spec is working. So let's have a look at how this plays out in total. So at the pool you're going to pre-pop and then you're going to pop, pop all your cooldowns. A Murder of Crows, Bestial Wrath and we're going to pop uh, Aspect of the Wild. Then I'm going to use Dire Beast and I'm going to use Kill Command. Yeah, And every time during Bestial Wrath when I'm using Cobra Shot I'm going to use a uh, Kill Command. So here we go. Popping all my cooldowns. Dire Beast, Kill Command, Cobra Shot. Whenever Dire Beast is proccing using Kill Command, Cobra Shot. Kill command, Cobra shot. That's what I want to do. That is my burst window. When Dire Beast procs, Kill command, Cobra shot. Right now, Best of Wrath is gone. Now I want to make sure I always have 30 focus when Kill command is coming off cooldown. My Best of Wrath is coming off cooldown pretty soon. I'm going to save up my focus right now. Pop it. Again, Kill command, Cobra shot. Dire Beast procs. Kill command, Cobra shot, resetting that kill command. There we go. Getting that burst out. Right now, my die beast is there. Kill command. And that's it, guys. Just make sure you always have 30 focus. And this is how you play your Beastmaster Hunter. So as you can see, we had over 300k burst damage. And we can pull off a 200k uh, deep, we can we can keep around 200k DPSing if you keep going with that. So this is your basic. Uh, this is your rotation. This is how you play your Beastmaster Hunter. Stats mastery is your main stat. Increases the damage done of your pets by 82.5%. Uh, it's almost 1% every uh, percentage of ma every 1% of mastery is increasing the damage almost by 1% of your um, of your pets. Your second stat is haste. Increasing attack speed and focus generation. Um, that's what we want from uh, from haste. Haste is therefore our second stat because it gives us more focus to spend. After that, it's critical strike, and after that, it's versatility. Um, the route of our artifact weapon is pretty simple. 
After you get Hattie, you go for Beastmaster and you go all the way around the left side. This is going to be your number one, uh, the first elite talent you unlock. Then you continue down on the left side, go to uh, Search of the Storm God, and then we're going to go to Pack Leader, then we we'll go to Wilderness Expert, and then we're going to go for uh, Titan's Thunder. Once we're done with that uh, route, the thing you want to pick up is Spitting Cobras. Increases the damage uh, dealt by Cobra Shot by 3%. Put in um, 3 points in there because it's still a damage boost. And um, this is something I'm recommending to people is that um, Spirit Bond. Kill Command heals you for 15% of the damage it deals. That's some nice healing right there which you can use pure for survivability. It's only one point I would recommend it that if you are done with spitting cobras and you have all your other elite talents put it in i mean i would recommend it because you're gonna have some um especially when you're doing heroic or mythic raids um this can help you out greatly and greatly with some self-healing so i could recommend that survival wise um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you on the next video thank you so much for watching guys Bye bye